good example of what you were talking about, though. Gabriel Jesus being injured. Um, we talked about this during the World Cup, and he's been he'd been such a talisman for uh, for Arsenal in the first half of the season. Him and Zinchenko seeming to be those um, you know uh, emblematic of of winners arriving and and you know showing the team how to do it. It seemed as though there was going to be a big problem. Um, and it hasn't been really. I mean, Eddie and Ketty, not not like the best player in the world, but was pretty good in this in this game against Spurs. He played very well. As, he did exactly what a centre forward is supposed to do, I suppose. And whilst um, he didn't get a goal, he did create a couple of opportunities. They no longer look like the sort of team that definitely require a January signing, John. Yeah, and I think that's a real testament to the system itself, right? We've talked about the system a lot, and it's easy when you have a season like Arsenal have had this season. And they've brought in players like Zinchenko and Gabriel Jesus to be entirely in that mindset, right? Where yeah. oh, these are the players who've made them better, and you know, there's a there's an extent to which that's obviously true. Gabriel Jesus is a really, really elite striker and plays in a really unique way. Zinchenko gives them the ability to have a a, f- a fullback who can invert, um, and that, you know, that's it's that sort of flexibility. We talked about this all season long. That's what's made Arsenal so dangerous. Um, but it is worth saying that you know this system, Arsenal have improved in this system it's taken them a long time to get this good we spent a lot of I spent a lot of time doubting whether or not Arteta could achieve that and then he's he's gone and done it and I think it's worth recognizing that the system does bring out the best in players so even players like Gabriel Martinelli last season people saying oh is there weaknesses in his game this season people are really liking him Um, and I think that again that's that all of this all of these kind of things when it's happening with a lot of players it's probably a system thing rather yeah. than just um, individuals getting getting better as well. And I think we're seeing that with, with Eddie and Ketia. Like, the, the system is there. Everyone knows what to do. He knows his role. And it makes everything so much easier when you're, you're playing in that kind of setup. Yeah. Also, sure. Jesus, um, the striker, hasn't scored a goal for Arsenal since... Uh, tenth? No, wait. Uh, what was that month? The first of October? Is that the tenth month? That's the tenth month. There we go. It's Thank you. Done. So he—that's the last time he scored for Arsenal. It was against yeah. Spurs, actually. And then since then, he hasn't scored any goals. Yeah. Okay. Then he got injured, obviously, so he's missing. And uh, in Ketia, I think Thierry Henry uh, spoke about him in the recent game, uh, and I, I agree with what Henry says in that. And Ketia looks like a really good squad player, and you, like you can see, he's got attributes there that he could be, go and become a, a decent striker for Arsenal, but mm. I don't. I haven't seen enough of in in games I've seen to him so far to think that he'd be the real top level that they'd need no, but he's a really sure. good squad player yet he's doing things in different games now and his, his scoring record is really good at the moment yeah. so he's getting chances and finishing them but he's doing a lot of things really well for that team that suit how Arteta wants that forward yeah. to work it's, it works quite good. well to have an unselfish uh, striker in that system and I, I would say the thing I like about it watching him is like you say well he might not be uh, at, the, at the moment at the very top level of the game it's lovely to see a young, uh, younger player playing the nine role so well. Often, like particularly with Nketiah's build as well, you would associate a player his age, his build, with someone who is maybe more comfortable in the wide areas where they're better with the ball at their feet. They don't understand the game necessarily to the extent that they're required to to play in the nine role. Cut takes a bit more experience, and then maybe they develop towards that over time. But here's Nketiah, re- relatively young, young player, um, with a you know a, a, a different build or profile to. Vout Veghorst, good example of a, of a you know a classic nine going to arrive at Manchester United soon. Um, it's really nice to see a young player doing those things. Well, you don't see it that often. Yeah, and he is doing a lot of the things that we talk about Gabriel Jesus being good at, which are maybe a little bit more unusual. So he can drop in and help out. He's been, I think, he's been really good in the in the hold up side of the game because that's going to be the area that you're probably going to worry about mm. with someone like Enketia because, as you said, he's not he's not a strapping lad by any means and um, it's really important for him to be able to drop in and win balls with with centre backs right up behind him yeah. uh, making it hard to do that and he's he's been doing that well he's finding space nicely in the box he is being a box presence there was that chance in the game yesterday when um, when Xhaka clipped the ball through and he was just perfectly in space didn't get the finish off mm. took, took maybe not the best touch but like he's there and you know you, that as we always say being a striker is a lot about being in the right positions sure. at the right time. You've got um, to show up. But that, what's making, what gets you to the next level? So we say that he's not quite there yet. Like, what is it that gets him there? Scoring the goal. Well, I think it's, well, it's, it, you can strip it down more than that. It's decision making mm. and like, clinicality and being a killer. You always have people that talk about how you need to be ruthless and not be a nice guy. You need to be someone mm. who is happy to go in and like, just leave it about, uh, annoy defenders, be really frustrating either by being so technically good. And it's just that, that thing, that first touch he takes, if he'd taken it down straight in front of him, he'd have the option of hitting it either side of the goalkeeper, much more likelihood of scoring, mm. but he doesn't. And he, 
this is what I mean. How does is that something he improves over time? He's dead young, isn't he? How old is Nketiah? He's twenty three. Twenty three. The same yeah. age as Darwin Nunez. Uh, so like you think he has then got about three four years to develop and, and go up there. But if he doesn't take those chances and start to prove that he does that sort of mm. thing, but then he is scoring other goals. So it's really hard to tell like, what level what his ceiling is. I think he I think he had two and a half chances in this game, and I think. You know, a top top level striker scores one of them on, on most of the time. But the the point that John made before about the reason for Arsenal's success being related to the mm. system, yeah, sort of. And also, when you've got a player like Martin Odegaard behind you, who's performing as he is this season, you don't really need to score. You just need to hold the ball up and make sure you get out of the way. And you put another two and a half years into Nketiah, and you might have a top level striker yeah. without having spent fifty million on someone. Sure. And he understands the club and the way they want to play, and it works much better for everyone. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including journalists dedicated to each Premier League team, so every fan gets the coverage they deserve, not just the big clubs. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.